During the summer of 2020, during lockdown, the Gliding Heritage Centre built itself a new workshop. Because at the moment the COVID restrictions don't allow us to have people in and have an opening ceremony, we thought that we'd record a quick walk around video to show you all the facilities that we have now at our disposal. The workshop was built with a very generous legacy from Trish Williams, so let's go in and have a look inside. The workshop area is a large area which is split into four bays. Projects in progress at the moment are the restoration of the, the Nessel Daggling from Dunstable, the Oli 460 return to flight, and currently Royal Bullmore is performing the annual inspection on his Skylark 4. In the corner we have a sandblasting machine which will enable us to treat metal parts, clean off excess corrosion, old paint, etc. Over the top of the workshop we have got a lifting boom which is suitable for lifting 500 kilogram weights. The workshop is fully heated with proper overhead heating, we've got proper lighting but let's go and have a little look around a fully equipped machine shop and see what we have got. So in the corner we've got a pillar drill for drilling holes. We have a dust extraction machine which will enable us to clean jobs as machining operations take place. A bandsaw will allow us to accurately cut strips of wood. We also have a stripping machine and if you notice again like our other machines it's equipped with dust extraction. The centrepiece of the machine shop is the Colchester student lathe. We have a workbench as well which is equipped with some tools which will enable us to do basic sort of metal dashing and we also have storage in the sense of that everything will have its place. In support of glider repair and maintenance operations, we have ourselves an office. We also have an organised filing system which will allow us to immediately locate any documentation that's required for the GHC fleet. We also have a store which has both bonded and quarantined areas. There's a high degree of compliance with regulations, so therefore we had to be careful and all this has been taken into account when building the Heritage Centre workshop. There's also to be a educational element to the workshop's activities. So we have created a teaching space where we'll be able to support training and also give lectures on the history and how to restore gliders. The workshop is protected by a fire alarm, CCTV and also a burglar alarm and is built to the highest standards of accessibility. Because we're storing gliders as a full-time job, we've also provided a modern kitchen as well, which are good the basic things. I hope you enjoyed our quick virtual tour around the new Gliding Heritage Centre workshop, and we look forward to seeing you in person when the COVID restrictions allow us to do so.